Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Dancer for Genesis and Mega Drive. We are now on round four. We're in these caves, and we gotta be pretty careful. Defeat these guys on the ledges that will slice at you. Just stand all the way at the wall. They'll come at you. You can s slice them with the sword. Here, you wanna use your ninjutsu just to be safe. And from here, you'll be able to have your powered up shurikens from here. Best course of advice against the next three gunmen, you want to get the first two on screen first before you use a dog attack on the first one. You can duck and strike to hit the second one. And if you wish, well, you're better off just using the dog attack on the third one anyway. Wait right here at the big stalactite so the big green guys don't surprise you. Take care of that guy with your powered up shurikens. Get rid of the yellow guy. And if you know what you're doing and you're pretty fast, you can take care of these two red ninjas before one of them can even leap at you. Otherwise, be ready to back away in case one of them jumps towards you and avoids your shurikens. Now it's time for stage 4-2. The whole cave is not completely lit up, so therefore there will be enemies that will strike without warning. Want to watch out for the blue ninja that's over here, and strike this shield guy in close because he will not throw his shields at all. You also want to strike the guy who rolls towards you as well afterwards. Let's go ahead and quickly take care of this gun guy. Wait for this guy to throw both of his shields first high then low. Then use the dog attack as soon as he throws high again so we can defeat him. Strike this rolly guy in close. Use the dog attack to take care of the next three enemies. Except aside from those two coming from behind, all of which are gunmen. Let's make sure we rescue these guys as well. Now over here, there will be another blue ninja. He will drop down after teleporting. You will hear the sound, but you'll have to look for him. Be ready to take him on as soon as he shows up. And if you need to, go ahead and use our ninjutsu. You can beat this guy if you can, all three of these guys with your shurikens, you can save the hostage here first and then use them quickly enough. But I just use ninjutsu just to be safe. There's a claw guy and a gunman. I take care of both of them with my powered up shurikens. And on the way to the exit, there'll be two more guys coming out from behind. I take care of them as well. Stage four three is the last boss before the final level. Yes, the next round is going to be the last. And it's this firewheel type enemy. You want to keep striking at this thing in the air on the off chance that it slows down and in when if that happens you'll be able to hit this thing in the flaming or the glowing circle rather before it can throw fireballs if it throws fireballs you're too late you basically just want to keep jumping and throwing shurikens every time this thing switches sides so that way you can hit the glowing circle as this boss slows down before it throws fireballs if you get it right you'll take one of its hits down and it won't throw fireballs, and it'll instead either spin clockwise or counterclockwise around the screen, and eventually you will take this thing down, assuming you know what you're doing. Thankfully, the firewheel does not damage you to the touch. It's just the fireballs you need to worry about. Anyway, this is the fourth and final bonus round before the end of the game, and it is absolutely dark. So you can tell just by the background sky that this is going to be the fourth and final bonus stage of the game. Once again, we don't destroy any ninjas so we can get our easy one up, which is good because I did not find a Union Lizard logo anywhere in the stage, nor did I even attempt to. I should have plenty of lives by this point. Round five, the final round in the game, is the Union Lizard Hideout. But that will have to wait until the next video. And there are multiple rooms. This is all one complete stage. Join me next time where we go through all five rooms of round five, which will make up the entirety of the stage, and then we will face the final boss. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe, and thanks for watching!